friends, let's see today's delicious recipe of digestive biscuits. So now to a large bowl, I'm going to add 3 4 cup of oats flour. I've just taken the oats and ground them to flour in my mixer jar. I'm going to add 3 4 of a cup of whole wheat flour. Then I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of milk powder. 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 1 4 of a cup of brown sugar. And now we're going to whisk all of these dry ingredients really well together. Then we're going to add one third of a cup of butter, which is at room temperature. And now we're just going to get our hands in there and we're going to crumble up the butter and the mixed flour till it resembles breadcrumbs. So just mix in the butter really well with the dry ingredients. And then you get this kind of a crumble or wet sand kind of texture so that when you hold the mixture together, it all comes together. So now you know you can add uh, the next ingredient, which is milk. So add a little milk at a time and I used half a mil half a cup of milk but use a little milk at a time and you're going to get a nice dough, a very firm dough with this uh, mixture. So you keep adding milk till you get a nice firm dough. Don't add all of the milk at one time, add a little at a time. Now you're going to knead this till you get a lovely nice firm dough. Now if your mixture becomes too watery just add a little bit of whole wheat flour or oats flour and if it becomes very dry then add a little milk and again knead it. So I'll show you the consistency of the texture we're looking for. It's this kind of a texture. It's really nice and firm which you can handle with you, you know, easily. It doesn't crumble or break. Now I'm going to use two pieces of uh, butter paper or parchment paper and we're just going to roll it down to about an inch thickness. Now you need to do this because if you directly roll it with your rolling pin, it's, it might disintegrate or break. But if you use this method, then it's much easier. And in between, just lift the parchment paper and again put it back, otherwise it sticks to it and it becomes very difficult to roll it out. So now you can see that I've rolled it out to an inch thickness. And now you can use a round cookie cutter. Now I'm just going to smoothen it up by just, you know, rolling the pin over it once more, very gently. And this would be a good time to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to use uh, this round kind of an object. You can use anything that's nice and sharp and round. We just want to cut even size rounds. So you can uh, go with whatever size you want. If you want smaller cookies, you can go with smaller cookies. Whatever shape you want. Uh, you generally you can use any cookie cutter that you generally use. And now we're going to use um, remove the excess uh, dough that's around it. Don't throw that away. You can again reuse it uh, to make these cookies. Just knead them again and then follow the same procedure. And now I'm just going to line my baking tray with some parchment paper and I'm just going to lay these out, leaving a little bit of space because when we bake them, they do expand a little. So right now I'm making six, but I totally got about 10 cookies. And now I'm just going to take a sharp mat stick and twirl it around and get these kind of holes which generally, you know, digestive biscuits, biscuits have. And then I'm going to bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Let them cool to room temperature. And there you can see how beautiful they look. They're nice and golden brown in color. And this is such a healthy option because we're using oats flour, we're using uh, whole wheat flour, we're not even using sugar, we're going for brown sugar. You can even use a sugar alternative if you're used to using that instead of sugar. 
and now once they've cooled to room temperature you can see how beautiful they are even the base of it is nice and baked and I'm going to break them and show you how crispy and amazing it is it is crispy and at the same time when you bite into it it's a delicious and really nice so yeah, I'm just trying to focus the camera and you can see how crispy and crunchy it is and it's really super delicious so guys if you like this recipe then do leave your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please do share my recipes with family and friends i'm gonna catch you soon in my next recipe see you till then I hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you'll get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.